Okay, so let's look at uh, trying to maybe color correct or change the color of our mecha. So let's select our composition, our mecha composition right here. And we'll go under, we could probably go under effect. We could probably look under our effects and presets. Or our effects, I'll go under, I know my favorite was always the color correction and it was a hue, saturation. And I usually use this wheel to kind of look at, you can kind of get some of the different colors. I kind of like the yellow. Um, I get a little bit of this kind of orangey burntish for the one I'm for for me because I kind of like it. Yeah, maybe about about there. I knock up the saturation, kind of changes it a little bit. That's the lightness. Guess probably work. well that's probably look pretty decent. That gives me some pretty good highlights right there. Knock up that saturation just a hair. I kinda like that. And you can change the color of yours if you want. Whatever you like. Okay, so that looks good. Um what next? I suppose now we could maybe add some energy as it's firing its rockets. Um, and one way you can do that is we'll look up lightning. So let's go to our top layer. Let's put this on the very top. And we'll uh, down in this area down here, make sure nothing's selected. Right click, new, solid. And we'll call it lightning one. And hopefully the, it'll give me the controls. Let's go advanced lightning. Oh, and it did, good. That's always a plus, that's helpful. Uh, let's move it to where I want. Okay. So now I can I can pick this to where it starts and where it ends. Yeah. Sometimes I have to close the program and maybe and restart it to get these handles to show up. Sometimes they don't. Okay. So let me get it right where I want it. And we'll go ahead and uh, let's first just add the transform. Let's add the opacity. Let's give it an opacity keyframe because I want to start it there. I'm going to go back one frame, knock it to zero. That way it shoots out. I'm probably going to animate it a little bit. I'm just going to go maybe, uh, maybe like eight frames or so. Let's give it a keyframe, go back one frame, and knock it to zero. Therefore, it just does a quick shoot. Now the problem is now is it doesn't seem like it's animating. So let's we're gonna have to get it to fit. So let's blow it up a little bit. Okay. And let's position. Let's give it a Let's go to the beginning here and position it. Give it a keyframe. Go a few frames. Let's move that position up. A few more frames. It looks like that's pretty good. It might change here also because I'm going to go into I might go into up here under effects. Still under my lightning solid. I'm going to uh, effects and then advanced. And I want the direction and origin. 
Let me move it back a little bit. So let's let's try the origin. Let's just give it a let's go to our start right here. Let's give origin and direction both keyframes. Maybe move them a couple frames. Mess around with those a little bit. Okay, origin you probably might want it to keep pretty close because I already did that where it was. Direction. It's not moving too much. Oh, there we go. So now it takes. Okay, maybe move it a couple more frames. Let's move that direction back up again. Let's try to get it back. Oh, yeah, so it goes upward. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we just move the origin just a hair. Yeah. And we'll move it again. Oops, not the origin. Let's do the direction. And we're just kind of moving it, just, just so it animates. Just to give it some movement. Let's see if that works. Yep. All right, let's take a look at that. And there we go.